welcome back to my channel in today's video i have a foundation i want to try this is on the market for some while so this is called the xi1 invisible liquid foundation this is how it looks like so i will be testing this today so if you want to see how it goes and how it looks on the skin and how long it's gonna stay on and keep on watching so as i did mention this is the bottle by the way this this has 30 mils it's made in italy it's not glass it's like a rigid plastic and probably this shade will be off on me it looks really really um dark this is in the shade six by the way medium buildable coverage for a flawless skin like finish no oil fragrance or parabens and it's vegan non-pore clogging and by the way it comes with a pump i think the packaging itself is really elegant um, I like this coppery shade um, and the fact that it comes with the pump. It feels really lightweight, so as I did mention, it's not glass, it's like a plastic. Now, before I go in, I always use a primer, so it will be fair to actually try this foundation with a primer. Today, I'm going to use this one from The Ordinary, which is called High Spreadability Fluid Primer. And really slippery primer. Okay, now that I'm primed, Let's go and test this on. Now, as you can see, I have some redness. I have some blemishes in here as well. And I'm really curious if this is going to cover up. So, yeah, as you can see, it's nowhere near a perfect skin. Um, I do have some redness, some scars, some blemishes. And I'm curious if this is going to cover up. Okay, let's get going. So, let's see how liquidy this is. I'm really curious. I expect it to be a bit more liquidy, I don't know why. It's really dark. Really, really dark. But let's see, the formula is not that, you know, thin. It's quite thick. I'm gonna try this first and then I will mix it with the other foundation as well because I'm just really curious about the formula. So let's see. It is really natural, you can still see your skin and it doesn't look bad on top except for the color of course. But it seems to actually blend in really quickly and really nicely into the skin. So let me go and fix the color and then come back. It doesn't look really dewy and it does spread really nicely with the brush. Um, on my skin it doesn't it, it feels like I don't have anything on my skin really it's really lightweight at the moment let's see if I can build it up and if it kinda, it's gonna look cakey or you know if it's gonna go in nicely so far I like how it looks on the skin even with the brush Starting using lately the brush. I mean, I like how it looks. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, guys, but it looks so natural. There are no streaks at all with this brush. It went all so nicely. It blends so easily with the brush. And I don't, I don't know if you actually the... Um, If the actual primer helps or not with that. I like how it looks like. It definitely gives me just a light uh, coverage. It's not the coverage. It, it covered most of it in the redness and everything, but not entirely. But now I'm gonna go with a sponge to see how it works. By the way, I bought this as a pack of free. This is from Impora London or something. They just came from Amazon. So I'm curious to test this on. They're not as squishy as my normal sponge. It gives me similar result, results, but for some reason I like this more <laughs> oh, with brush. Again, I'm gonna try to see if I can build it up with this sponge. 
you know, in the areas where I have redness, which it seems to work just fine. It does build up. It does look nice on the skin. It it turned into a soft matte. I have just slightly a slightly dewiness, and it gave me medium coverage. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't look cakey at the moment. Um, so I like how it looks. It doesn't look greasy at all. It's definitely oily free. I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face. Come back with the final look, and of course, I'm gonna do some check out, some checkups later on as well okay guys so i'm back i didn't do anything special about this look because i'm not going anywhere i didn't even add any lashes as i'm reviewing just the um foundation today to be fair i like the finished look it does looks like skin uh it seems to transfer slightly even after i set it with powders this formula is pretty similar with this one from catrice if it's not identical um, and which is weird, I think the Catrice one is actually a dupe of, of this one because this one is more um, affordable first of all. The packaging is really si uh, similar, the only thing is that this is glass um, but yeah, it's, they're really similar, especially of how the bottles look and everything. But the formula of both of them is really really similar, they're both a bit thick when you apply it but they're really nice on the skin. I, I can say it's like almost the exact formula. You'll never have a perfect dupe, of course, but I would say it's quite similar. It's quite similar with this one. And I love the Catrice one, to be fair. This one actually stays on almost all day because this is a long wear foundation. So I'm gonna, I'm curious if this one stays the same like the Catrice one. The overall look, it's nice. Um, it gave me a matte, um, satin matte finish. It's not a complete matte. As I did mention, it does transfer slightly. So hopefully it's gonna stay. I'm gonna wear this as long as possible today, but I do like how it looks on my skin. It's not cakey, it's not heavy. It's not heavy. It slightly has a bit of a um, doiness in this area. Around my nose, it looks nice. It didn't, you know, gather product around it so i'm gonna wear this today as i did mention as long as possible and i'll come back late on to check it on to see how actually it still wears hey guys i'm back so i think i have this foundation on for about six hours now and it's starting to become a bit shiny around my nose area and to be fair around on my chin is just slightly separating I don't know if you can see that up close. It's just slightly separating. On the forehead still looks alright. On the cheek still looks alright as well. But in here, in this area, it looks a bit weird. And around my nose, it's just separating a bit and starts to be shiny on this area. But overall, I think it still looks alright. It does transfer, by the way. It starts now to transfer a lot. It's starting to rub off now, so I have it for about six hours. It's not more than six hours anyway, and probably this for summer wouldn't be a great idea. It does hydrate, but it feels weird in here. And the fact that it's already separating is transferring a lot. So yeah, I liked it when I first applied it. It looked really nice on the skin. It was fine. Um, it wasn't any issue to blend it in. But me having an oily skin apparently is not going to stay on. This is not a long-lasting foundation. And it doesn't say anything about that anyway. So they didn't claim it. That will be a long-lasting foundation anyway. But um, yeah, this is how it actually looks now after six hours. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you did try this foundation and how it behaves on your skin. Because probably it just is something that it doesn't like from my skincare. I did, uh, this happened before with another foundation on this area, which started separating. So I think it's just something from my um, my skincare. It's just um, a serum that just doesn't want to go along anyway. 
um, yeah, let me know if you tried this, if you used other products underneath and if it worked or if you have the same issue like I had, separating on the chin. Um, on the nose, I'm not bothered because every foundation separates in here for me. So it doesn't matter what foundation I'm using, what primer I'm using, in this area will always separate. So that's fine. It's just on this bit, I'm a bit bothered because it looks horrible. Anyway, thank you again for watching, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It will mean a lot for me. And also, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this every week. I'll see you next time. So then, take care. Bye.